Looking for a secret weapon to take your athletic performance to the next level? Hey everyone, I'm Fenella, a grad from a Masters of Science at Stanford University, athlete and content manager on the Loombox team. Today, I'll be deep diving into the latest tool you can use for building muscle, toning up, sculpting your body and reaching your full athletic potential. I've been involved in high performance sports all my life, starting with field hockey for the UK national team, continuing the sport for the Stanford varsity team, and now I focus on competitive running. As athletes, from the amateur to the professional, we're all obsessed with metrics. Tracking your run on Strava, counting your reps in the gym, increasing the weight each week and so on, Everyone wants to know how to get more reps in, run longer, gain muscle, and perform better. And now, in 2024, the fitness scene has taken a radical turn, with gym therapy as the new therapy, marathon training, well, everyone knows this has become the latest craze, and running clubs as the new dating apps. More people than ever are trying to push their limits and boost performance day by day. So if you're like me, or like to work out regularly, you'll know we're always looking for quick and easy ways to build strength, speed, and maintain flexibility. Have you been wondering, how do I gain more muscle? or how do I get more reps in, run longer, or perform better, then you're in the right place. Because I'm gonna share a secret that's already helping boost the performance of millions of athletes around the world today. Red light therapy is a cutting edge technology that aims to optimize your cells ability to perform at their peak. After I took a workout class that used all red lighting, some with LEDs and infrared light panels and some with just red light bulbs, I wondered if this actually had beneficial effects for my workout. I then kept seeing it around other studio classes like Pilates or yoga, claiming to help build muscle, burn fat, and increase flexibility. Now, there are so many studies out there on sports performance, and there's a pretty large amount on red light therapy's role in sports performance specifically. Most research suggests that red lighting in a workout studio probably doesn't do too much for the muscle, but more powerful LED and laser devices will. So we've done the research and have compiled some of the best studies to show you. Going through all of them will be way too long for this video, so you can head over to our blog linked in the caption if you want to read the rest. But first off, how does red light help? In order for our muscles to contract, muscle cells need energy. And where does this energy come from? Well, our mitochondria. The mighty mitochondria inside our cells turn the food we eat into energy the cells can then use. Muscles are particularly dense in mitochondria, and the more mitochondria you have, the better your muscles can perform. This is where red light therapy comes in. It may support our mitochondria to produce energy so our cells are more able to function optimally, leading to improved performance. Now, red light therapy may help with muscle recovery too, so you can go check out our other videos if you're looking to decrease soreness and speed recovery time specifically. As well as this benefit, research suggests red light may reduce fatigue which increase muscle gains and hypertrophy. Let's break it down. A randomized control study on 34 athletes showed that LED therapy helped to reduce muscle fatigue and increase the number of repetitions performed. The athletes participated in four trials with randomized durations of 30, 60, or 120 seconds, and two wavelengths of light were used, both 660 nanometers and 850 nanometers, both delivered via LEDs to various points on the quadricep muscles. They received light preconditioning, and then what they found was that the groups receiving 60 seconds and 120 seconds could perform more repetitions on each quad compared to the placebo. So in this case, the LED-based therapy may have a positive impact on performance by reducing muscular fatigue. And I love this study because about half of the participants were female, so they spaced out the experimental sessions to be four weeks apart, allowing for women to participate without the menstrual cycle having too much of an impact on results. And so, as more scientific research continues on the female body, I'm so excited to see how red light might best fit into the female's routine to support them at different points in their cycle. In another randomized crossover double-blind placebo control clinical study, they looked at the performance and recovery of high-level rugby players during an anaerobic field test. 12 male athletes received either a combined laser and LED red light or a placebo, and they applied it to 17 different sites on each of the lower limbs. The red light treatment delivered both red and near-infrared light pre-exercise once per week for two weeks. The researchers evaluated sprint times, blood lactate levels, and perceived fatigue. In the red light therapy group, average sprint times improved, as did the fatigue index during the field test. See here. This diagram shows a significant decrease in the fatigue index compared to both the placebo and the baseline. Fatigue index was evaluated using the Bankspo sprint test, where the athletes had to run seven all-out sprints with active recovery in between, and then performance and fatigue could be calculated. A conclusive remark from the paper was that photobiomodulation, or red light, significantly improved the average times of sprints in the Banksbow sprint test. The light therapy group maintained optimal running performance over the entire seven sprints, when typically we'd expect to see a decrease in performance as the test progresses. Okay, there's just one more study I want to show you. A randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover trial on 10 pro volleyball players study the effects of red LED therapy on exercise-induced muscle fatigue. They assessed how many repetitions subjects could carry out until failure, comparing a light therapy group with a placebo. And in this study, they again used both red and near-infrared LED light 
delivered for 30 seconds and applied directly to the middle of the biceps immediately before exercise. And exercise in this case was bicep curls. What they found was that LED therapy led to an increase in the number of bicep contractions by 13% compared to the placebo. Probably because it also decreased blood lactate that's the acidic waste product from exercise that causes soreness, creatine kinase, a product of muscle breakdown, and C-reactive protein, a marker of inflammation. So it looks like red light may reduce fatigue and help us perform better, right? Before I get to this, if you're enjoying this video, here's a quick reminder to like and subscribe to our channel for more health tips to keep you in your best shape. For those of you aiming to sculpt your dream physique and pack on muscle, red light therapy might be the missing puzzle piece. Imagine if your muscles could respond more efficiently to your workouts, leading to increased muscle mass and strength. Well, research demonstrates that red light therapy may aid in hypertrophy, which is essentially muscle growth. In an experiment on identical twins, an LED device delivered near infrared light at a wavelength of 850 nanometers at a large irradiance of 500 megawatts per centimeter squared. The two twins trained three times per week for 12 weeks and applied the light immediately after each session. One twin received a sham light, whereas the other twin received the actual red light therapy treatment. The muscle group of focus here was the quads, so the device was applied in direct contact with both thighs for 15 seconds, delivering a total of 150 joules. In the MRI scans after the study, they found a 20% increase in the volume in thigh muscles when LED therapy was combined with the training program, compared to only a 5% increase in the placebo twin who was doing the same workouts but receiving only a sham light. Crazy, right? So I know you're probably wondering how you can maximize your time in the gym with red light therapy. And trust me, we're all trying to figure that one out. And based on the research, we cannot make any definitive claims about the most effective protocol yet, but I can provide some advice and guidance. So first off, what exercises benefit the most from red light? Well, given the research, most of the studies are done on upper and lower body muscle contractions, like the biceps or the hamstrings. There have been some studies on running for speed, like the one I mentioned earlier, and others using a treadmill. I read a paper recently where they studied the effects of red light combined with treadmill training as an option for fat loss and smoothing the appearance of cellulite. So if that's one of your goals with exercise and you're interested in learning more about this, you can go check out that video on our channel. Second off, what's the optimal timing for red light during workouts? Again, the research points towards using red light therapy immediately before or after training on a specific muscle group. I personally like to take it to the gym with me and I use it in between sets as a pick me up. See here, I'll put it in combined red and near infrared mode and slowly move it over over the muscle groups I'm focusing on. I do make sure to wear shorts and a tank top though as it won't have much effect through clothing and we actually don't recommend you do this for other safety reasons. So then what's the best wavelength? Looking for a device that delivers both red and near infrared light at a high irradiance is important to ensure that light can actually reach the muscle tissue. Some studies here show the use of red and near infrared light simultaneously but there's actually pretty solid evidence that red only reaches just past the dermis about four millimeters under the skin while near infrared has the potential to reach up to 10 millimeters deep, which may target the muscle tissue. And then the question that you're all probably wondering is what is the best device to use for sports performance? And now I might be biased, but I love having a portable and powerful red light device available for at home use or on the go use like Loombox. I bring it to the gym with me to use during my workout, after the workout while stretching, and sometimes in the car home, like if my back is particularly sore that day. A lot of the studies use near infrared in direct contact with the skin. And this in the study is done under medical supervision. So I will note that everyone has different skin and some people cannot tolerate near infrared directly touching their skin. They may find it too hot. And so do check with your doctor if you're unsure about your skin type in combination with red light therapy. And if you're interested in learning more about how to pick a good device to suit your needs and how to harness the power of red light therapy in general, Download our free ebook linked in the caption below. Thank you for watching.